Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Bella. So it is early October right now as I'm filming this. It's been about a month and a half since I last went to Asia. I miss Asia so much. I keep talking about it to this day. I always brag about it with my roommates, but this is a part two video of my trip to Asia. In this video, you will see my experience traveling to South Korea. If you haven't watched my part one video where I go to Japan, go ahead and watch that. I'm seeing in Hypen very soon. <laughs> I can't believe I'm seeing them after so long. I have my light stick ready and my picket ready. Sorry, you can't really see it well, but it's Jake right there. So I'm in my dorm right now. I'm not back home home. I hope you enjoyed the video and let me know if you're going to the In Hype in LA concert this Friday. And yeah, again, enjoy the video. Bye guys. After a whole week of exploring Japan, we have finally come to the airport to take our plane to Seoul, South Korea. It was only about a two hour flight, which was really not bad. I was super excited. And this is when I met up with my best friend. My mom recorded this and I was so happy to see her after so long. We kind of have a long distance relationship, so it was good to see her again. So we had our first meal in Korea. It was really good. We had all this Korean meat and we went to Gwangjang Market after that, even though after we ate it, we still wanted to go here <laughs> since it was very famous. And we found this booth that was that had a Netflix sign, but I can't remember if it was from Squid Game or not, or if any other Netflix series that I forgot. But yeah, let me know in the comments if you guys know which booth that show is from. And when we went to a train station, I came across this He Sung video edit. I was not expecting that. Oh, and there were a bunch of these BTS gum vending machines. Then we went to Starfield Coex Mall the next day. We found the library. I forgot it was at the Coex Mall. I wasn't expecting it to be there, but it was really cool. Then we went to the Hype Insight, which I was super excited about. They gave us these free photo cards and someone traded with me for Jungkook, which was really cool. And these were the autographs that we saw and there was a photo simulation. It was very cool. And this is the Jungkook photo card that I got. So thank you for to whoever traded me for that. And we weren't allowed to record most of the walkthrough. We were only allowed to record the beginning part, but it was still an amazing walkthrough. I highly recommend that you guys go to this place if you have the chance to travel to Korea or if you already do live in Korea. <laughs> And what happened was literally hours after we visited the place and Hypen uploaded this vlog where they visited Hype Insight and I was freaking out so much because I knew that they would not be able to see my notes, especially, oh my god, Jake could have seen my notes but I was too late. But I still felt lucky to somewhat be in their presence, but... <laughs> And this is when they were at the photo booth, which I did it myself, but I did not take any photos of the photos that they printed out and stuck on the wall because I wasn't sure if we were allowed to record in the merch shop, so I didn't want to be caught by staff. Hey now, hey now, this is what dreams are made. After we got out of Hype Insight, we went back to Starfield Coex Mall and came across a K-pop store called K-Town For You. It had a photo booth where you can borrow accessories to wear to take photos with your friends or just by yourself. These are some of the signed albums that they have displayed. It was very cool. We did not do any of, the f of our photos inside the photo booth because we didn't really want to spend money on that at the moment, but instead we still took selfies with the accessories because why not? <laughs> Up here is the second floor and it had this very big screen showing all different idols and apparently there was a dance academy there, which was very cool to see. And there was also a treasure pop-up going on. Uh, we took a quick glimpse of it. There were some staff uh, 
staring at us, so I didn't want to record the whole thing, but it still looked cool. Then we went to Cacao Friends. I didn't buy anything because of money, but I was really tempted to get this Ryan photo card holder, but I thought it was too bulky. Then we went to Han River, which was such a beautiful sight. I have been wanting to go to Han River for so long. And from where we were at, we were able to see Namsan Tower, also known as Ensoul Tower. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> and they had this bridge where there were fountains coming out from the bridge and it liked beautiful colors. It was very cool to see. Later that night, we got our first Korean barbecue meal in Korea, which is, of course, a must-do in Korea. It was delicious. The next day, we went to Bukchan Hanok Village, which was very beautiful. And I also ran into this cosmetic shop that had a standee of both Jaehyun and Hechan from NCT 127. <laughs> so I got a photo with them. And then we went to the actual village and palace, which was very beautiful to see. There were so many beautiful young women there who rented hanbok. I wanted to with my best friend, but it was just so hot that day. It was like 90 degrees in Korea, so I was expecting the weather to be a bit cooler than, you know, Southern California, but yeah, I completely underestimated that, so I didn't want to wear that in hot weather. Then we went to the National Museum of Korea, which I was really excited about because BTS performed here for the Dear Class of 2020 commencement speech. And yeah, here's the clip that they performed. Then we went inside and found the actual spot that BTS gave their commencement speech to the 2020 graduates. And as a high school 2020 graduate, I felt so honored and privileged to have visited this place in person. It was such an incredible experience and I felt very special. And there was this very cool exhibit too. <laughs> the kids were going wild. Then we went to Sam's Ryan's Itaewon Bar in Itaewon. The staff was very friendly there. It is a tourist friendly bar, so I highly recommend that you go to this place. And our view from our table, we found this poster of Itaewon class. I'm not sure if this is the actual bar that was filmed in the K-drama, but if you guys happen to know, just let me know in the comments if it actually is. Then we took a walk in Seoul Forest, which was very beautiful. They even had a butterfly garden, which I was very happy and excited to be in because I love butterflies. I have loved butterflies since I was a kid, and I'm tempted to get a butterfly tattoo someday. They had other animals such as this adorable tortoise and a bunch of fish, reptiles, and bugs. Later that day, we went to Dongdaemun Design Plaza, which was a very cool building. I didn't record anything inside because I was distracted, but I would recommend that you go if you are looking for interior design. But my friend and I took a photo at this library. It was very cute. Then we went to Hongdae Street that same evening. It was very cool. There were some buskers who were singing English songs, which I was pretty surprised. They were singing like Ed Sheeran and Justin Bieber, all of that. Then we had dinner with a bowl of duck balgi. I forgot to record it before we ate it because it was just so delicious that I forgot to record. This is a Korean convenience store ASMR. <laughs> Except hotel edition because we're not actually at a convenience store. <laughs> Great. 
But what if I use <laughs> strawberry? morning we ordered the black pink frap and cake which was okay <laughs> that's all i gotta say then we went to the latte world aquarium at the latte mall which was a lot bigger than i expected they had this long tunnel of all these different sea creatures which was very cool to see i did feel bad though for a lot of the creatures that were at this exhibit honestly because i thought they were very small not enough space for them so for that reason i did not record everything i saw but these penguins were probably my favorite animal that i saw because as you can see i did not know where to record they were going everywhere from place to place and they were just so cute and looked very cuddly i wanted to pet them especially because of how close they were like look at this guy like how do you not want to cuddle him <laughs> then we had sotok before seeing barbie so i'm back in california now um, <laughs> it is a couple days after Hurricane Hillary hit, so if you're wondering how I'm doing, we're doing just fine, so uh, I was about to make a sarcastic joke and say no, we're doing terrible, but it's really, it really wasn't that bad here, so other than me having to sweep off all of the water that was flooding in our patio, so my back is kind of killing me, but other than that, I'm doing just great. Everyone is safe, no one is hurt, it's all good. But anyway, I just got back from Japan and South Korea, so I thought I'd do a quick haul of everything I got from both countries. Now, I don't really remember which stuff I bought from where, so I apologize for not remembering. So it's probably just going to be all scrambled up, so I'm not going to have like a specific order of like Japan first and then Korea first. It's probably just all going to be mixed together and just what is stacked on top first, so... Yeah, but I will start off with, this is the first thing I bought on the very first day that we arrived in Japan. It's this Miffy purse, which I am absolutely obsessed with. I'm not kidding you. I used this every single day, the whole time we were there. And I'm using it again today. It is so freaking cute. It has a lot of space. I, I have some stuff in there already. I used it earlier today while doing groceries, but I have my little RJ <laughs> hand sanitizer holder. And um, yeah, it has three pockets, one here, another a second here, and a third one here. It holds a lot of space, so it's very, um, what's the word? It is very useful. <laughs> I bought a lot of plushy keychains. I already have so many plushy keychains and i got even more in asia so at this point i think i'm gonna start like a co big collection of them but anyway these are the oh my gosh these are the plushy keychains i got look how cute they are so this one is molung i got it from a store in japan called kitty land i think that's what it's called kitty land and then these two um karomi and cinema roll keychains which they're both from uh, San Sanrio <clears throat> my voice cracked they're both from Sanrio and there were so many Sanrio stores in Japan by the way and the very first one I went to I, I bought these two but the only downside is that the these chains they're really not that strong so I kept they kept falling off when I wore them with my Miffy bag so uh, I'm probably gonna try to change the chains to something else I found this at one convenience store, Engines. Get ready, especially Jake Sands. <laughs> You'd probably recognize this lip balm. It's Squirtle. So in case you guys who don't know, um, Jake from Enhypen, he and the rest of the members did an interview with GQ Korea and they were doing a what's in my bag interview. And Jake, when he showed his bag, he pulled up one of these. It was the exact same one. And I found it at a convenience store in Korea and it was the last one left too. So I immediately grabbed it and just paid for it. And I was like, nope, no second thoughts, I'm getting it. And it's it's good as he, as he says, like 
I don't, I can't really tell what the scent is, but it has like a citrusy type of scent. Like it almost smells like, like grape? Something like that. Some type of tropical fruit, but uh, but yeah, it's really good. Now, I kind of know what Jake's lips taste like. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm, I'm sorry for my, my delusional thoughts kind of took over me. I mean, yeah, it's hard to be Jake Stan, but Jake Stan's comment below. <laughs> so this was the most exciting part of my trip to Korea. So I was able to go to the Hybe Insight Museum in Samsung. And uh, this is the package that I have all of the merchandise I got. So um, when you check in, you get a free code photo card with your purchase. And you can choose whichever group, uh, Hybe group you want. But I chose BTS. And I was thinking about doing in Hypen, but I have to choose only one. But my friend also wanted BTS, so that's why I also wanted BTS. And this is the photo card I got. It's Jungkook. Well, okay. I didn't originally get him. I originally got V, but later on, a local, she, she seemed like a local, I, I believe, who um, was a little old, a bit older than me. She asked if she wanted to trade, and I asked, uh, yeah, what, what member do you have? And she said Jungkook. And my eyes lit, lit up, and I was like, oh my god, I, I love Jungkook. And she wanted V, so it was a win-win for both of us. So. I was really excited. So the army who traded with me for Jungkook, thank you so much. So after the whole walkthrough, we went to the merchandise store and I wasn't sure if I was allowed to film in there so I didn't get any footage, but this is what I bought starting with this um, BTS photo card set. So, uh, I'll, I'll open it to uh, let you guys see what it looks like. We have Namjoon. Worldwide Handsome Jin, Suga, <laughs> J-Hope, I miss him and Jin so much. Oh, some kick. And Jimin, gorgeous man. V, mm. oh yeah, by the way, get ready to stream layover. <laughs> and my man, Jungkook, my old bias. The other thing I bought was this uh, photo card set for an hypen. And uh, you could see Jungwon in front already. The packaging was a little in weird to open. I had to figure out how to open it through TikTok. Like I looked at people unboxing it, but yeah, I figured out how to open it. So there are basically two photo cards for each member. So uh, we got Jungwon, uh, Heeson, Jay, Jake, my man. Sorry, I realized I wasn't showing the photo cards properly, but uh. Sunghoon, oh my god, he's so pretty in that one. Sanu. And Nikki. So we got the other photo cards for them. I'll just quickly go through them. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> just grabbed this free brochure for um, BTS in the soup. It just had like a QR code on booking a reservation and uh, doing the tour as well. So I found a K-pop store in, I think it was Kyoto. And about this store is where I found an Hypen tour merch for Fate Tour. And I was really shocked that they had it because they haven't been to Japan yet so I was flabbergasted when I saw it. So they didn't have everything though. They didn't have like any of the hoodies or t-shirts so I just got this stuff instead. I got this Jake Pickett. As you can see, I already decorated it. Um, I feel like there should be more stuff added to the front at least. So if any of you talented artists who have decorated pickets before uh, would have suggestions, please comment your suggestions below. The other thing I got was the light stick cover. It's a little vampire and has a cape too. I thought it was so cute. It was difficult to put on at first because it might be because I already had rhinestones at the front here. So uh, it's, it's hard to see. I'm not gonna take it off though because it took so long for me to put it on. And then, oh yeah. So I got these photo card holders also in Japan at the Sanrio store and these are um, tour photo cards. So I only got Hee Sung and Sung Hoon 
there were all the photo cards everywhere, like individually you can buy them. I almost bought Jake, but I was thinking no, because one of my friends who bought the whole entire photo card set for all the members, she plans on uh, giving me the, all the Jake photo cards. So that's why I didn't buy any Jakes. So I just got some Hun Hisung. Also in Japan, I, I was expecting to buy more clothes, but I ended up not, but this is one of the, this is the one thing I bought in Japan. It's gonna be hard to see, but it's this long denim skirt. This was handmade and this costed quite a lot, like 107 USD, but it was totally worth it because when I tried it on, everyone said I looked really good in it. So yeah, you could see all the patchwork on there. So yeah, I'm sorry it's not a very clear view, but I've worn it quite a lot and I wore it a lot in Japan. So this was definitely uh, a purchase that was totally worth it. And the other piece of clothing I got, the one and only thing I got in Korea, this I got at the Lotte Ma No, not Lotteria? I, I don't remember, but uh, it's this shrug. So um, I think that's what it's called, a shrug, like a little super cropped mini sweater. And now we're gonna go on to the stuff that I got for some of my friends. So um, this big heavy bag I got for one friend since we, I made a deal with her. <laughs> anyway, one of the things I got was this Kirby, super cute, and my Melody plushie. Also, I bought it at the same time I got the Karomi uh, keychain. So we're kind of matching. And uh, I'm not gonna open this, but this was free with uh, a purchase I got. Wait a minute, these were not from. Okay, well this this was not from Korea, but this is one of the stuff I promised her. Uh, this AT's poster, which um, these I got at my local K-pop store, so just a few minutes away. But uh, I tried to find it, find it for her in Korea, but I didn't. So. But I got these anyway for her, these exclusive 80s albums. Apparently, I don't much, I don't know much about 80s or their album discography, but apparently I think one or both of these are, they're out of reprint or something. Like they don't make them anymore. So they were very ex limited and exclusive. So that's why she wanted me to get those for her. But I was able to find it at my local shop. So, but this, this was a pain to ask to bring back because they're so heavy. These cosmopolitan magazines of Yo Sung and Mingi. Yo Sung and Mingi. I'm sorry, I can't pronounce it well. These are from for other friends, and because um, I am a nice person, I'm a good person, and I love to give gifts to people. Gift giving is my way of showing love and affection. I thought this was really cute. I don't know who I'm gonna give it to, but it's this cat tiger keychain. Super cute. And one of my roommates is a big Super Mario fan, so I found one of these figurines. It's uh, those like flower guys. I forgot what they're called, but uh, uh, I might give this to another friend. I was originally gonna keep this for myself, but I don't know if I want it anymore since I have so many. But there's this Karomi photo card holder that I have not opened yet. And also I'm gonna distribute these distribute these to all my other friends who live back near my college. It's, I got this whole set of these bear keychains wearing Korean hanbok, which is super cute. So the hanbok keychain I got for myself was this Hello Kitty hanbok keychain. It's so cute. I, I, I did put it on my phone, but I took it off because it was kind of like swinging around everywhere. <laughs> but uh, I think instead I might attach it to my school backpack or something. That's everything I got in Japan and South Korea, I think. So if you not have watched part one of the series where I go to Japan, this is for the Korea vlog, uh, go ahead and watch that right now if you have not yet. And yeah, I'm pretty sure my next vlog is gonna be when I attend an Hypen's LA concert for Faith Tour on October 6th, so I'm super excited for that day. I have some pretty damn good seats, so. <laughs> but yeah, if any of you engines are going to the LA concert for an hyphen, comment below, hit me up, we could be moots. Moots, that's how you pronounce it. Mutuals, moots. No. 
But anyway, thank you again for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And I hope you guys have a great day. Stay safe, healthy, and stay loving yourself. Bye.